Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Cottage Living. We're up to episode 5. I am actually continuing right where we left off last time. We've just completed a part of our errands that we have to do for the creature keeper. So I'm just going to go give him the bird report now. We need to find him somewhere. So love this new feature focus the camera on the creature keeper he is here by his house so we're gonna come over here and give him the bird report we currently have 77 simoleons if you've seen the last episode we actually had over 500 but we spent all of our money because i got us a rooster chicken well a little baby chick actually and then i also bought the bird um, birdhouse thing for our lot because it was part of our aspiration and we were able to unlock the next part now, which is this one. I'm wondering if we can do any of these today. We could definitely look into finding some forageables here in the Bramblewood and we could give some gifts. Do we have anything on us that would make a good gift? Because there is a wild rabbit right here we could just give a joke present like a common upgrade part or we could give the rabbit sage or something since i do seem to have a bunch of that i really hate that it's a cloudy day it's so dark in the game and this world is stunning but it is what it is let's see if he's gonna give us a next part nope that was it we just finished that and he gave us some llama wool all right, what has he got to say? He feels me with joy to see you bonding with the local lot life and giving them attention while I was busy elsewhere. Please enjoy this assortment of odds and ends I scraped together to show my appreciation. I feel like we've seen this before. So what did he actually give us? Oh my god, so many things. He gave us llama wool, lemons, carrots, and oh my gosh, he gave us the cutest little yellow sundress to give to a bunny. I'm probably gonna wait until we can buy the bunny house for our lot and then give it to a bunny that is actually gonna stay with us uh, near our house but that's super super cute we could definitely give a carrot to this rabbit i feel like you know rabbits like carrots right give produce let's uh give this carrot to the little bunny hopefully uh she or he likes it here you go super cute I mean, yeah, we got a thumbs up and now we've done one out of three. I'm trying to find harvestables, but there doesn't seem to be like any. I am going to look for frogs though because I am trying to get money any way that we can and we can sell the frogs that we do find. So <laughs> time to get your hands dirty, June. She's fine with it. Oh, she found a tiger frog. Wait. Oh my god, that counted as foraging? I did not know that. So that sells for 35. Ooh, we can forage that way. Yeah, because none of the actual plants have grown anything yet. Like we have chocolate berries over here, but there's no actual berries to harvest. I also found something to dig over here, but I think I'm gonna send her home after that because I really can't find anything to actually forage right now which is fine what did we get a time capsule which we will sell and somehow we have 272 simoleons all right we are home now but yeah anyways the main thing that i want to do in today's episode is attend the finch week fair which is tomorrow game time and i think it's gonna be the chicken fair um i guess we're taking our only chicken with us because if we can win a prize I'm hoping you get money with it and that would be ideal. And is there any eggs to harvest? There actually is and it is slightly dirty so we do have to clean this. How is Angel doing? Very happy. Last episode we got full friendship level with her and then here's our little baby chick bud. Adorable. Oh my god. She just autonomously went and did that. So I'm gonna collect the eggs from here and then clean the coop as well. It's, ooh, we, we got our first, oh my God, we got our first special egg. So we got a blue egg. 
Oh my gosh, okay. Blue eggs are used to complete certain errands for the grocery owner and grocery delivery villagers that live in Hanford on Backley. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna take this to the chicken fair because you can actually show off an egg as well. Um, I also found a super vitality fertilizer by just cleaning the coop, so that's pretty good. I might just fertilize just something, you know? It costs 130 million, so that's insane. We just found that for free. But yeah, how is everyone else doing? These two are having a chat over here. Oh my god, is she being... She's being mean to her brother. Don't do that. Tell him a story or something. Okay, there we go. Let's do some nice interactions. Let's brighten his day. It is Friday, so we do not need to do our homework yet. She does still have this errand to do for Rahul. We're gonna start on this on Sunday. We could maybe make a cross stitch now that we have some money. How much wear these? The small hoop is 80. I feel like we could do this now. Yeah, this is so like out of her comfort zone, not something she would ever regularly do. Should we do a rainbow, some shapes or stick figures? Let's do the rainbow one. Oh, if we have the wool, then this probably wouldn't cost anything. Let's just do the little rainbow hoop. Oh my God, that's exciting. So yeah, I totally forgot about this errand until I just opened this. I was trying to look at her school performance. Yeah, she's still a C student, but it is now the weekend, so we're gonna focus on her homework later. She is doing excellent though, so that's good. But oh my gosh, she just acquired the cross stitch skill. This skill has five different levels. I can't imagine her like mastering this skill, but she's doing this for a boy that she's recently met and the only person who's been really nice and supportive of her after moving here to this new town and they're kind of kindred spirits. They both don't really like it here and wanna leave. Then we have little August. How are you doing? I don't know why he walks so glitchy like this. I don't know if that's just my game or if that's a bug from, you know, a recent patch or something, but yeah, my toddlers walk really funny. It was another toddler that I had as well. But yeah, he's doing pretty good. He's feeling energized at 8 p.m. It is love day today. Oh, okay. So stuff has broken and June has gone to sleep. Girl, maybe you can try and repair this. <laughs> I think it would be good if she got some hand in a skill. I feel like that will come in handy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the hand in a skill will come in handy living on a farm, especially a farm that's kind of run down like this one. So I'm gonna have her try to fix that. I don't know how loud the water sound is for you guys, but yeah, it is love day today, but none of them are in a relationship. And the things you should do is give someone flowers, go on a date, be romantic, stuff like that. So I don't think we're gonna participate. We're just gonna make them sad, which sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, how is June doing with this repair? I mean, she kind of looks like she knows what she's doing. We still need to mop the floors. This is a huge mess. But if we can fix this on our own without having to pay money to your repair man or woman, that would be great. Oh my gosh, flinging fixes. June was born to wield a hammer. Should she finally embrace that she likes handedness? I mean, I feel like this is the first time she's ever done anything handy like this, but sure, yeah, she likes handiness. Why not? We managed to fix the sink on our own. She's feeling so proud of herself. Honestly, I'm proud of her. She's doing really, really good. This is the egg that we're taking tomorrow. It is excellent quality, so that is good. We've got some more seeds that we got last time that we can plant as soon as we harvest the crops that we currently have. I feel like we should come out here and spray these for bugs. I was hoping the birds would help us, but they've gone to sleep and we still haven't befriended them. Look at this walk, like what is this? When he's not stumbling, he's glitching around like this. Interesting walk. If you guys know what it is, let me know. It could be CC or something, but August is using the potty on his own. I'm proud of him too. And how is your cross staging project going? Oh, she looks so cute. She's stinky though. <laughs> I just realized this is making her super, super stinky. But look at the little rainbow that she's making. Honestly, super, super cute. 
and she's watching the TV while she's doing this. <laughs> of course she is. Oh my god, why? Every time June is out here in the middle of the night attending her crops, freaking Vlad shows up. Excuse me, go away. I do not want you to be here. Okay, April is almost done with her cross-stitching project. August has joined us here. He's got some food. And then the other things that we need to do is take a photo outside of Hanford on Bagley. So I'm planning on doing that on Sunday unless something comes up. And then we need to make a chocolate pie. Well, we need to give one to Rahul. I feel like maybe June could make it because April does not have cooking skill at all. And you need level five cooking skill. And June is like halfway there already. So maybe she'll help her daughter out. Did she just finish it? Oh my gosh, okay, perfect. Deliver the cross stitch to the mayor. Oh my God, I hate this. This is so buggy. It just said something else and now it's gone. I was gonna read it for you guys. If there was some proper reason why we needed to give it to the mayor and tell them something, but now it's just showing the previous phase of this. But yeah, we'll have to remember that we do still have to give it to the mayor. So I'm gonna put it in her inventory. Oh, and June is just about to level up with her gardening skill, which is great. Honestly, this is taking so long. Hopefully the fact that she has higher skill level now will make this faster, but we can now take cuttings and grafts to create hybrid plants. Not really interested in that right now. I'm more focused on the oversized crops, but yeah, it takes so long to do this on one crop. So I can't even imagine how long it would take if we had a really, really big farm. Oh, and oh my gosh, I totally forgot to show you guys, but she actually did get a lifestyle. She now has the outdoorsy lifestyle because she's been spending so much time outdoors, which is really cool. I feel like this does suit her now. I mean, it's a new lifestyle that she's embracing, but I kind of love it for her. So she prefers to be outdoors. She has various benefits when doing outdoor activities, blah, blah, blah. That's exciting, honestly, super cool. All right, so everyone is off to sleep now. I'll pick this back up in the morning. But yes, love day was awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it's Saturday and apparently, April's already up. It's because she really needs to go to the bathroom. Uh, that's okay. It's a sunnier day today. It's not so dark. I'm really, really happy about that. I wonder when these are all going to grow. I am actually gonna have April cook breakfast this morning. Like I said, she has zero cooking skill, but maybe she could get started and get used to it. Her mom is still asleep and April knows she stayed up really late. And even though, her and her mom are not on the best terms right now. She thought on a Saturday she could cook breakfast for everybody. So let's hope it doesn't turn out terrible quality, but that's really nice of her. Okay, here we go. We got some grilled cheese quality. Excellent. Wow. I don't think they're going to be eating together, but she still made it for everyone. So that's really sweet. And yeah, the Finch Week Fair is today. So we got to get prepared for that. But June is hungry as well. So as soon as she gets out of her bath, I will have her try April's grilled cheese as well. April's, of course, gonna add a pic to her Instagram story of her cooking breakfast because she never does that, so she has to do that. And then she's gonna check her social media timeline. I would love to get her a computer, maybe the whole setup where you have a camera and everything so she could actually maybe become a social influencer, but obviously we don't really have any money right now. And I really want to buy them a shower because this bathtub is terrible quality and it takes them like two hours to actually get their hygiene up. Yeah. Oh my God, these two are like matching. I didn't even realize their outfits go so well together. That is actually freaking adorable. I think we're gonna take the whole family with us today when we go to the fair. What time does it start? Oh, from 3.30 p.m. we have the chicken and egg competitions and then you can win ribbons. I wonder if you can also win money and not just ribbons, that would be ideal. And then there's also the local shops that sell unique items. I haven't seen any unique items that would be only sold at the fairs, but maybe I've just missed that. And Junie's wearing one of her other outfits today and she's trying April's 
grilled cheese and she looks very happy about it. I feel like this is glitched on top of her head, but that's okay. Oh my God, this is adorable. Look at these two. And June is here to watch them, to watch her kids play together. That is adorable. I'm really happy about that, but there are some eggs to collect. There's actually two. So we'll see if we can get even a better one than the one we already have. And we'll take it to the fair today. And we'll also have to take Angel with us. But yeah, there were two special eggs. Oh my God, we got a golden egg. No way. Midas, not just a myth. So Hatchable golden eggs can hatch a golden chicken. But I don't think this is a hatchable one. Maybe we can get one once the rooster ages up. And then you can also prepare some special food with golden eggs. But we are definitely holding on to this egg. Oh my god, we got two. No freaking way. I want to spend some time getting to know these birds so we could finally ask them to help us um, get rid of the bugs on our garden. Oh my god, so let's sing to the birds as well. Oh my god, no way! She got the bird to land on her hand and sing with her! Okay, that is probably the best that can happen when you sing with the birds. Oh, what's she getting now? Oh my god, she's getting so close with those, these birds. She looks like a freaking Disney princess, holy heck. Oh my god, we can ask for gardening help now. Okay, perfect. This is really, really good. This is why I wanted these birds. Okay, perfect. So they will now try to help us with gardening. Why is August crying? We're gonna have to check on him. Give him a hug. As you can see, yes, okay, perfect. The birds just got rid of the bugs on our crops, which is super, super helpful. What? The more musically gifted members of the flock like to sing to oversized crops to help them grow too? Is that what they're doing? Yeah, that's so cool. Oh my God, I love these birds. They're interacting with all of our crops. Hopefully they'll grow soon. I would love to be able to sell some of our produce. Oh my God, that is the cutest thing. Oh no, okay, that's the cutest thing. But there's a fox here, which I don't wanna see here. So we're gonna have to, um. Maybe talk to Harper first, maybe try to make friends, but I think we should shoo Harper away because we do not want this fox attacking our chicken. She's literally trying to sing through all the animals. I don't know what she's doing, but apparently that is her plan for, for today. And it's actually going pretty well. All the animals are joining in on our singing. I am going to put Angel in our inventory now to get ready for, oh my gosh, to get ready for the chicken fair. That's so funny that you can just plop them in your inventory. But she was feeling very happy, so that's all good. <gasps> these are grown, by the way. Are these fully grown? <gasps> no way, these are fully grown. Pumpkins. <gasps> oh my gosh, our first harvest. No freaking way. Look at our pumpkins. Wait, I'm so proud. I don't know if we should sell all of these though. So I think I'm just gonna harvest all the crops and then sell a few from my inventory. Um, Yeah, we got oversized pumpkins. We got four of them. And one of these sells for 51. So these are small pumpkins. These weren't even medium sized, but they're still like oversized, I guess. I'm gonna be putting one in the fridge and I think we will sell three because we do desperately need the money. So uh, that's pretty cool. Look at us go. We have 350 simoleons almost and now we can plant, oh wait, plant oversized crop. We already had mushroom and pumpkin seeds. Let's just do pumpkins again. <gasps> okay, this is great. We're gonna water our crops as well. Hopefully the rest of them will grow soon. I'm guessing I used the fertilizer on this one and that's why it grew faster than the rest considering I did plant them all around the same time. 
Let me know what you think we should spend our money on. Should we build a fence around our chicken coop? We can obviously move it back a little bit. This lot is massive. Should we buy them a better shower or better beds or something? Because they do sleep pretty bad as well. And obviously a lot of money goes into buying more chickens or doing cross stitching projects. And I do want to buy a shed as well, but I think that's either 400 or 500 simoleons. Where did he just get a little sippy cup? Oh my god, he got milk. June just gave him milk. That is adorable. I think everyone's doing pretty good. The fair starts in an hour. So we might head to the town now. We've got everything we need in June's inventory. We've got our chicken and our excellent golden egg. So hopefully we can win first place at least for the egg competition. So yeah, let's, uh, let's head over now. We're taking everyone with us and we can even see the fair being set up. All right, here we are. Holy crap, this townie's outfit. I, I don't even have words. They're clearly doing a cosplay because they have not just ears, but <laughs> nose and mouth as well. Oh my Lord. We'll see if Rahul shows up today. April will definitely go over and say hi. And oh my gosh, yeah, the mayor. We need to give the cross-stitching project that we made to the mayor. But I think June, yeah, is about to receive a Finchwick favor from Michael. We could also pick up a new errand today. Yay, the fair has started. Come win amazing prizes by competing in competitions. Okay, what did we get? Okay, so he gave us custard. That's cute, sure. So the fair is over here. It's set up on this empty area that's just in front of the bar. And we're definitely gonna be coming over and setting up our egg and our chicken for the competition. But look how cute this is. Oh my God, there's Rahul. We have these chicken bushes. I forget what these are called in English. We have some seating areas and then of course both of these little shops are open. We have the garden shop and the grocery shop as well. Okay, here we are. Wait, so this is now in full bloom. It looked so terrible when we started the game. Is it because it's almost summer? Yeah, it's summer tomorrow. I believe it's the last day of spring today. Okay, good to know. So yeah, this looks absolutely stunning now. Love all these flower bushes. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Love this area. But yeah, let's go over here and let's put our egg in. Let's submit entry and use our golden egg. Love this outfit that June is wearing today. Very summery indeed. So let's put our golden egg on display. Perfect. And then let's go over here and submit our chicken. So Angel can try and win prizes for us today. Okay, there we go. And Angel's just gonna sit there. You can actually still socialize with your chickens while they're here. They're okay, just chilling. You can view the competition entries. Hopefully other people will um come and participate as well so we don't just automatically win because we're the only participant but oh my god the mayor is here which means let's uh let's go do a respectful introduction first of all we need to make a good impression on the mayor we're gonna sit next to her introduce ourselves put your phone away <laughs> oh my god april so deliver the cross stitch let's do that and let's see if we get a different part well, that's not really how you give presents, but sure. <laughs> Interesting. But we've done that. What do we have to do next? Convey mayor's feelings to the grocery deliverer. Okay, April, chill. Chill, chill, chill. What did she say that made April so mad? Rahul asked you to give me that ditty. What a thoughtful gesture. I took him under my wing since he was a young little thing, but I've sensed a reluctance lately when I talked to him. You've helped clear the air, though. Thank you. Won't you tell him that I would never stand in his way as he pursues his dreams? And I'll wallop him if he keeps worrying over giving it to me straight? Wait! So she's actually understanding. I don't know why we're yelling at her. We need to calm down. Let's have a Henford heart-to-heart -heart and brighten her day. So... It's interesting that she says that she took Rahul under her wing. 
I'm confused whether they're related or not, but I know that like Rahul can get replaced by someone else as the grocery deliverer, which is why they've had to do the text like this, keep referring to the grocery deliverer instead of Rahul by name. But that's actually pretty, pretty good. What is this? What a poor sad little egg. I think it's even cracked. Did someone put a chocolate egg here? Yeah, they did. <laughs> Wait, I want to go check it out. Oh, we can't? View competition entry. We're already feeling inspired from looking at interesting submissions. So someone is competing with us. There's currently one egg and one other chicken. What's your name? Nothing. You're just called Black Hen. Who is this? Cecilia. I feel like we should get to know her. Let's go um get to know her as well. Let's tell her a joke oh there is a rooster here as well okay okay good our chicken is the only one wearing clothes so can we actually find rahul right now and tell him what the mayor said i wonder if he came over here i don't actually see him well next time we see him we'll make sure to continue our errand did we just get a present from the mayor as well Wow, we're Lavina's faring friend today. What did she give us? Oh my god, we got mushrooms. Yes, pink, lovely mushrooms. We got spicy mushrooms and raspberries. Okay, perfect. The mayor is judging the chickens right now. Okay, this is exciting, but also nerve wracking. I actually really hope Angel wins, but I have no idea. But yeah, this is cute. We've never taken the whole family out on town like this. April even seems to be having an okay time. I think she's wishing to see Rahul here. I've lost him, but maybe we can spot him somewhere soon and they can have a little chat. Oh my God, what are these guys doing? <laughs> I love it, grown men playing in the pond that's so funny it really suits michael though bro what the hell are you doing why would you come into this specific stall oh my god he's such a creep i swear look at his face <laughs> i mean he doesn't look that happy though that he walked in on us but come on dude oh my god i forgot you can sell plants with a profit if you sell them to the little kiosks or the little stalls or maybe even if you sell them to him see profit oh my gosh i'm so silly i shouldn't have sold our pumpkin straight from our inventory but hopefully we'll remember next time i did want to get another errand maybe from agatha because we currently have two and we can't really do any of these right now i'm still looking for a charming mushroom that's like the only mushroom that we're missing whoa 300 simoleons okay let's see what this is about oh i knew i could count on you you're just what this village needs a pair of fresh ears for catching all that gossip agatha i freaking love you now i've got an urge to do some meddling well actually i prefer to think of it as matchmaking and my dear cousin agnes has left me all this stuff to sell which sounds frightfully dreary to do on my own those two have nothing to do with each other, but okay. Think you can help me on both counts. And we get another gnome, a flirty potion, and a fertilizer. But we also get 300 freaking simoleons. So heck yeah. I still wish, wish she would match make us. Okay, this is a lot of text. Love is in the air. Can you feel it? Well, perhaps it needs a slight nudge from yours truly. Hanford on Bagley's own self-appointed matchmaker. Roses are known to help budding relationships blossom, and I've entrusted you with two of them. Offer them to two single sims who would make the perfect pair and see if they fall for each other. Are you serious? That is such a cool errand. We get to pair people up. I don't know who I'm going to pick, but that is so cool. And then she also needs our help selling some extra inventory, blah, blah, blah. It's simple, really. You'll buy my overstocked seats at an extraordinarily fair price, and then you'll speak to a number of other sims about this exciting opportunity to sell surplus seats. Get enough sims on board, and we'll all be rolling in the green. Buy extra seats. Okay, we need to buy them from her. How much is this? Oh, 
gonna cost not that much only 25 simoleons we can definitely do that i didn't know you could make this much money from just Aaron. so this is awesome we need to now sell them to other sims there's so many sims over here so we might as well come over here April's on her phone, who is surprised. I'm pretty sure no one is. They're all kind of hungry. So I think we're gonna eat as soon as we get home. We need to add to our Instagram story though, a picture of the fair, heck yeah. Oh my God, even little August is looking at the eggs. August is super hungry though, so I'm just gonna give him the custard to eat. We don't have anything else on us. The festival will also end in one hour. I wanna see him eat this. I wonder if he'll eat it straight from, oh my, oh my, <laughs> from the jar. Maybe it's not, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's uh, meant for toddlers. What just happened? Did he just, I, I think we just lost our custard. Gosh darn it. Okay, we need to wrap this fair up real quick. While we're waiting, I'm gonna do part of this errand, which is selling the lettuce seeds to some of the other Sims. Let's see if the mayor wants to buy any of our seeds. Doesn't look like it, but the festival is starting to wrap up. Okay, great, we can go home. That was fun. I mean, it wasn't that crazy. The fairs honestly, aren't super dimensional or anything like you just come here and participate in the competitions how much money did we just make i totally missed it but we just got a blackberry a tomato and a third place egg competition ribbon excuse me how did we get third place with our golden egg we also unlocked the recipe for chocolatey treats and then, yeah, our egg won third place at the Finch Week Fair. Please check your sims and household inventory to find your egg. And next week we have the garden fair. And then we got third place in the chicken competition as well. That is not very good, but it's okay. We won a fertilizer. We got the recipe for flirty treats. And that's the fair done. So we are all going to go home. Here we are. I can't believe we came in third with our golden egg. That's ridiculous. But we've got our ribbons, which we definitely need to show off now. We could plant a tomato plant if we wanted, but I think we're good. These spiders are still creeping me out. There are some weeds on the farm, but June is way too tired to take care of that right now. These two are having an evening snack and then they're all gonna be going off to bed. But I really wanna showcase these ribbons. So let's put them up on the walls. Okay, that is so cute. I actually really, really like that. They would tell for 50 simoleons, but I am keeping these. It's a good memory. I just posted the last episode yesterday, so I haven't been able to check yet, but I asked you guys to maybe make some friends for April that I could place in the world and we could go hang out with them in the next episode. Go check out the last episode if you missed that part, but hopefully the next episode will be able to take April on a trip somewhere maybe Sam Shino, I haven't really decided yet. We'll go meet up with her old friends and do a part of this errand, which includes taking a photo outside of Hemford on Backley. So that is the plan for next episode, but I'm gonna wrap this up here. They're all going to bed. It is 12 a.m. And give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new here. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you don't miss an episode. If you have any ideas or feedback, leave them in the comments down below i do love reading your guys's comments and it's gonna be summer in the next episode as well first day of summer which is exciting so that is all for me today i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye